Okay, so today we're going to be learning about Native Americans and geography. Um, we're going to be reviewing two subject standards. The first one, describe national identities, religious beliefs, customs, and various folklore tradition, and discuss the ways in which physical geography, including climate, influenced how the local Indian nations adapted to their natural environment. Um, for example, how they obtained food, clothing, and tools. So first, we're going to start off by talking a little bit about what you already know about Native Americans. So who can name a Native American tribe? Kickapoo. <laughs> okay, Kickapoo. Um, Cherokee. Cherokee. Uh, Seahawks. 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 I don't know if that's one. We'll look into it. They live in reservations. They lived here first. They were here first. They like the buffalo. They like buffalo. <laughs> okay, so what would you like to know? Uh, what would what seems interesting? What would you want to know more about Native Americans? The some of folklore stuff. Folklore. Foods. Okay, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna show you a, a PowerPoint, and we're gonna. I'm just gonna show you some quick, like the different regions where Native Americans come from. Like, so what parts of the United States they're originally from, and I mean, we're just gonna go quickly and show you some pictures of them also. So this is the Eastern Woodlands up here. So it's where Washington and all those upper states, and then we have the southwest, or the southeast, so that's Florida and Louisiana, and then the plains, so Missouri, Nebraska, um, the southwest, which is Texas and New Mexico, uh, and then the coastal north, northwest, which is um, Oregon and Washington and part of Canada, and then the Californian area, which is right here, which is where we are, and so that would be um, some of our native tribes. Oh, and there's also the plateau, which is um, like the mountain areas. So this is uh, an example of like Eastern, the Eastern tribe. So you can see they have different, a different kind of housing. This is the Eastern region. And then they use canoes. This is the plateau. And then the Plains Indian. So already you can see that there's differences between each tribe. The northwestern, the southeast, the Californian. So, what do you um, do? You think all tribes are the same, just based on looking at what we saw already on the PowerPoint? No. What makes you think that? The Plains ones, they had a picture of the buffalo, so they ate like the buffalo. You think they ate buffalo? Yeah. Did you notice anything different about the land that they were in? Like, do you think the all part of the United States is the same? Like the plains, do you think it's the same as the like southeastern? No. Oh, they had different types of houses. So different types of houses. So we're gonna explore this website. Right here, it's called Native Arts, and we're just going to briefly review some of the regions and the different tribes that lived in them. So on this, um, this region is the Basin. So in this, this tribe, uh, two of the tribes that were really popular in the Basin were the, sh uh, shows, the Shosh Shoshone, 
and the Washoe. And And this is a part, of, this is the basin. So this is the picture of the basin region. So there were not, those were just two of the many other tribes found in that region. Okay, and then we have the Californian tribes, which are native to where we're living. So the two popular ones from here are the Chamush and the Pomo. So in the California region is the smallest of all the, the eight different regions. The Northwest Coast, we have, let's see. We have the Chinook and the Mpakwa tribes that are popular there. And the Eastern Woodlands. So we have the Algonquin tribes, the Iroquois, and the Potawatomi are made up that area. So after reviewing all these tribes, I'm going to give you this worksheet of the different regions. So since we've went over all the regions, I'm going to ask you to fill out each part. Okay, so now I'm going to pass out your worksheet, and you're going to go ahead and fill out each region. So I want to see you guys labeling. Um, which region, and if you can try to remember what tribes go in each re region, that'd be fantastic. This is yours, and then here's some crayons. And if you need any pencils, I have some pencils. about what we've talked about, do you remember how many regions there were? Eight. Eight. Do you remember what they were what what they were called? <laughs> so like what would this one be? California. So yeah, the California. So then you just look at the so it would be looks like the and then you color it that color. And then do you remember any of the tribes that were in California? No. Did you know each other? That was close. That's in the, the coastal region. the Chamush in, the, in California. All right, so like what would this area be? Like, the, what would you think? Great Plains. The Great Plains. And then do you remember what tribes were there in the Great Plains? Um, the Crow and the Iway were in the Great Plains. Okay, so now that you're done with your worksheets, uh, you guys are going to get into partner groups, and I want you to pick one of the tribes that we talked about, uh, or one of the tribes that you saw on the website that seemed interesting, and you're going to be filling out these research papers. So you're going to find five facts about your tribe, and once you're done with this, we're going to share with the class.
So you're going to be given two days to work on this. Uh, in class, we're going to be using our tablets so that you guys are able to research and look up the different types. And then, so you can use the site that we already used, or you can find a new site. Okay, so now that you've had a couple days to work on your research paper, um, hopefully everyone was able to go and find your five traits of your tribe. So I want one person from each group to come up to the whiteboard and fill out, put your five facts on the board. And if you want, you can draw a picture so that your tribe had um, TP, so maybe you could draw a TP, or if they had wigwam, you can draw a wigwam, or if there's something else in your theme, draw a picture of that. So. Oh, beautiful TP. Okay, thanks, that's fantastic. Okay, so now we have a nice visual representation of everyone's different tribes from each region. So do they all look the same? Are all the tribes the same from no. each region? No, they're all completely different. <laughs> So how do you think living in each area has affected the tribe? So do you think plains, like the Plains Indians, were they able to farm? The Plains Indians. That's good because they didn't have a lot of water. Yeah, the Plains Indians didn't have a lot of water, so that affected their lifestyles because they weren't able to farm. So they were um, nomads. They had to travel a lot. That's why they hunted buffalo. Um, okay, so now I'm going to give you a little bit of time to write um, a little reflection in your journal about your learning experience. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to do that. Here's your journal. Here's your journal. In your journal, be sure to identify the different tribes that you that we discussed in class. So the different tribes from each region. <laughs> 